na 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 soup dad the sale should be easy tanner we're not peddling menorahs to the vatican we're selling medicine to sick people put china on the line huang ching ring the young tanner tasil ika hung tong one tongue wu min chung tai ming chin sao song fa song kwa kwan sai ching shit am i in the wrong house nitsa yin ka tsai zu zi bo Uh, Blark, I, I was wondering if I could borrow some bedding for a house guest I'm expecting. I'd, I'd use mine, but I, <laughs> I had to sell them. <laughs> Bar food. Mm. To eat. <laughs> to live. Um, sure. Do you need them now? Because I, I sort of got a bird in my nest, if you know what I mean. Blark the romantic. Ooh la la. <laughs> I do. I really, really do. Mm. Oh. Thanks a ton and I, I promise I won't get in the way of your holy sh**. That's my mom. Blark, this is my mom Frankie. Mom, this is Blark. I'm familiar. I only needed to hear two mm-hmm. words out of this man's mouth to know he served our country, is good with his hands, and has more life stories than a god damn immortal. And I only needed to hear that you're Stacy's mom once to know that you're his mom. Okay, well, Mom, I asked you to visit so we could talk. So can we go? You have an extra bedroom stud, Muffin? I have a son's room. He had sleepaway space camp with a junior. Perfect. Stacy, huh? no offense, but I prefer to stay in a home with a working heater. So, oh. Blark, I'm in your room. You'll take the <laughs> living room. Stacy, you'll be in Sun's room. Also, whatever you're cooking smells like deep space evil, and it's drying my contacts out. It's my signature soup soup. I make every batch by can. Don't care. My assistant already ordered vetoes. It'll be here at 7 p.m. exactly. Mm-hmm. That means soup's gone, table set by 6.45. We'll eat Italian and talk softly. That work for everyone? No! I am not staying in Sun's room for more than a night. Great. You, get my luggage from the car and organize my clothes in your closet from black to jet black. Get out of the way! Uh, Great to see you, honey. Oh. Ah! Blark! No! (laughs) Don't tell me because you slightly piqued my mother's interest that you think I'm your son now. I am not playing this game with you. You can call me Stacy and we can have a civilized conversation. I will not answer to son. What do you want from me? Stace, now that I'm your pappy, I think it's time we do some father-son bonding activities, hmm? This is... <laughs> this is hell. We only have two options. One, we scream break a wine glass in the garage together. Or two, we egg our geeky neighbor Stacy's house. <laughs> Shouldn't you be with your new... Uh, girlfriend? Well, there's no question. Your mother and I go together like a shrimp po'boy in a Louisiana sunset. But since she's got here, it's been all business and no Blark. I'm starting to think she doesn't even like me. No, Blark, Blark. My mother thinks I called her here to ask for money, so she's using you to Uh ignore me so she doesn't have to face the reality of having to bail me out again and... And sadly, it's not even the reason I called her here. I... uh, I... I wanted to tell her that, um, (sighs) never mind. We just don't get along. You know, I once brokered a peace treaty in 1957 between two warring street gangs, the Jets, who were white Americans, and the Sharks, who were Puerto Rican Americans. I can do the same for you. That's West Side Story. That West Side Story is my real life life. Okay, Blark, I'm not son. You can't you just- You are my boy. I'm gonna patch up your she-dad relationship just like I did in 1933 with that cherry-haired orphan and her billionaire bald dad. That's Annie the Musical. <laughs> it's a hard knock life. 
Boy, Mark, it's a hard night, right? Boy, Mark. <laughs> you Swansons are a riot. That's why I took the time to create this piece of art to capture your bubbly love for one another. We look miserable. Also, when did you even capture this? Oh, well, I actually don't know. He's trying to do something nice, Mom. No need to grill him. Although I will say the heart-shaped frame was a bad choice. I mean, we're all in it, and I don't even own a printer. Kind of like the choice to shut down your psychiatric practice to write a pop finance book that bombed? Mom, that's not fair. Guys, seriously, I think there's a phantom photographer loose in my home. Say cheese. What's not fair is you having to keep calling mommy for money. Let me guess, another book you've written went down in flames. Mom, <laughs> can we not do this? Okay, what's really baking my noodle is how in the hell was this photo taken? Smile. Stace, let's cut to the chase. I'm done giving you money. But I'll make you an offer. Mom? Pack up the pens, move back east, and help run the business with me and your baby sister, Greg. I don't... I, uh... I actually wanted to tell you- Stacy, this is my final offer. No, Mom! I'm not some f***ing client you can make offers to. I have, I have spent my whole life trying to do what you wanted. I, 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 I want to write novels. You wrote a book. No! I wrote a pop finance book you wanted me to write because you thought there was a market for it. But I am done living my life by your standards. I want to write fiction, fantasy, goblins, wizards, dragons, magical, mythical mayhem. But every time I'd start, I have your voice in the back of my head yapping about how it's not a viable option. Well, I've got bad news for you, mammy. It is a viable option because I am an artist. Yes, your worst nightmare, mom. An artsy, fartsy, struggling, sensitive, Loser artist! Oh. <sighs> I'm leaving. Hey! This baby bird just fell from the nest. He needs his mama bird. Now, I don't know about you, but my nest is a safe space for all sons. And I'd like to keep it that way. Although this paparazzo poltergeist is a legitimate concern. A little to the left. Ugh, Stacy. You are obnoxious, selfish, narcissistic, probably an alcoholic, and your own worst enemy. I appreciate you adding probably before alcoholic. But, Blark is right. You are my son, and I should support you. That's why I came. <laughs> it's why I always come. Now, I don't understand goblins and wizards, but I'll try. We'll go back to your place and you'll tell me everything that's going on with you. But before that, Blark, mm -hmm. you assertive, loving, sensitive falcon. That was the goddamn sexiest thing anybody's ever done to me. And you are wearing far too many clothes right now. Mm -hmm. Take a hot shower, put on an early 80s funk uh -huh. record, and meet me in your room in six and a half minutes. Also, the blazer stays on. Boys. Lark, that was, ah, uh, such a breakthrough. Thank you. Stacy, listen. Frankie is a vicious, otherworldly minotaur of a woman, and I am very scared of her. But that doesn't mean I won't stand up and face the heat for you. We're family. That being said... I'm gonna go f*** your mom. Sweet mother of Stacy, that feels great. I just made it. Oh. I can't.
Sweet.